Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 1st, and it is apparently going to be a beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. For some reason, here on January 1st, 2023, we're going to have sunshine and weather in the 50s. Go figure. Happy New Year, friends. I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve celebration last night, and you're, uh, you're up bright and early this morning doing all the things that people normally do on this day. Yeah, I know that's not the case. Ah, uh, so I have, um, it's going to be a series of disappointment because nothing I plan to do, I'm actually doing. Um, Tim Heinick. Haunted Bookshop. So, I was planning to do my uh, 2022 blend. You know, every year I got the jar and I put the stuff in it. And this would be the, you know, normally the first Sunday of the, the new year. We'll crack open that blend and, and talk about it. And uh, I just, my taste isn't right. Um, I, I haven't lost my taste. Uh, when I was sick, I didn't lose one. But it just isn't quite right. I don't know if it's because my sinuses are still a bit congested. And I just didn't want to try anything new. So, on to bookshop it is. Hopefully all will be back to normal next Sunday and we can uh, we can enjoy the, the 2022 blend and I'll tell you about it. But, for now it's on a bookshop. So, yeah, we had fun uh, last night, the wife and I. It's great to have her home. Um, I was lonely. Yeah. Uh, what did we do? We watched a couple movies. Not nothing, nothing too exciting. Um, had our traditional Chinese takeout and, and watched some movies. And then about eleven thirty, um, she wants to put on her ball dropping crazy kid stuff. So I got out my tablet, put in my earphones, and watched Spinguli. Uh, which I had recorded from earlier, Earth, Earth versus the Spider, and then I hear her yelling something, and I, I look up, and it's twelve o'clock. So I take out the earphones, and I give her a New Year kiss, and uh, she went off to bed. <laughs> I finished Spinguli, and I went to bed, and thus goes another exciting New Year's Eve in uh, in the life of Kane Rod Piper. Yeah. Never been a big fan of New Year's Eve parties and stuff. Uh, I talked a little bit about this during the live stream on Friday, but uh, I don't know. It just seems like a, one of those crazy nights where it's best to stay home, and that's what I do. And I don't like the modern music. I don't like the the culture that's portrayed on those things. I mean, it's really gone downhill. Uh, I feel like I'm watching television from another country when I when I watch this stuff. It's just anyway. So yeah, here we are. It's a new year, and I guess the other thing that you do um, is you is you talk about resolutions and such. And I've never been a fan of resolutions. We've talked about this in the past. I mean, If I want to better myself, I should better myself. I don't need to make a public declaration of resolve in order to do that. And it seems to me like they're just... People say a lot of things, have really good intentions, and, and then, you know, they don't follow through on them because we're human, and then they feel bad about it. So why, why torture yourself? And if you do want to make yourself better, do it. Get up today. Make yourself better. That's all. And don't make a 20-point plan. Pick one thing. One thing. I got plans for the year. I got things I want to do different. But my one thing, I want to be happy. My buddy Michael Case brought that up on Friday night during the live stream. And I forget exactly how he put it, but what I took from what he said was, be happy. 
you know, life is too short. And uh, that's my that's my goal this year. I'm going to be happy. I don't know what that looks like. You know, it might look like working hard. It might look like uh, taking more time off. It might look like spending more time reading. It might look like spending more time exercising. I don't know. But whatever I do during the course of this year, I'm going to do it for my own happiness. And the happiness of those around me. Because when those around you are happy, you're happy. Yeah. So I guess... Uh, We should officially draw the holiday season to a close today. Always a bit of bittersweet associated with that. But Frosty will go away. Santa back there. Back there. Santa's going to go back in his box. The major award mug, uh, which I really enjoyed last uh, Friday night. That'll go back in its box and uh, get put back on the shelf until next year. Yeah. And we go on. Now we go into the winter. You know, the, the darkness. That's, that's why the holiday season is so important. It gives us sort of a last hurrah before the bleak midwinter. December. Just gave us a little taste. January is usually bad, and then February is a horrible month. Cold, bitter cold, wet, snow, ice. And then March, where things start to break. It's really not that terrible. Just a few, few weeks, a few weeks of cold. And if you're fortunate enough to have a home that's warm and comfortable, then you don't mind it so much. If you're less fortunate, this might be a really tough time of year for you. But keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you think about your happiness. comes the furnace. <laughs> Y'all take care of my friends. I'm going to call this to a close. Happy New Year. God bless you. And until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now. <laughs>